the spirit Today we're going to be talking hydrogen and I'll be your host, Hydrogen Man. Just kidding. But anyway, so we're going to be doing a review on the Lourdes and we're going to be talking about hydrogen. Ultimately, the Lourdes is a hydrogen machine. Now, we chose the Lourdes for many reasons. One, it's one of the few machines you can actually get in the U.S., but that's actually not really the, the reason we chose this machine. We chose the machine for many reasons. One, it is the only machine that can actually hold the hydrogen in the water after you take it off the machine for 12 to 24 hours. And that's a really, really big deal, considering that most machines can only hold it for like 10 minutes. And those other machines can cost, you know, some are even upwards to $50,000, but that's some of the crazy medical equipment, $100,000 kind. Then they have others that are, you know, more affordable, like $10,000 and $8,000. And, you know, this one is way less than $2,000. So it's much more affordable. They're like $1,500 or less. Now, another benefit about this type of machine, it's the only machine that can turn distilled water into hydrogen water. So that's really neat too. Very unique feature. And so ultimately it has a touch screen here. I'm just going to touch it a few times. There's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes. I put 30 minutes because that makes the highest level of hydrogen water that you can ultimately get. Now, for those of you who don't know what hydrogen water is, basically there is a place called Lourdes. I mean, people like Magic Johnson have gone to these places to try to heal themselves from things like AIDS and any other kind of illness. Now, I think it's like 8 million people a year go to Lourdes, France, seeking healing. And scientists decided to go, and when they tested it, they found absolutely nada. They didn't find anything. All they found was that it was water. But of course there had to have been something because so many people are healing and they're thinking maybe it's all in their head, who knows? Well, it wasn't until the Japanese finally got a hold of it. And ultimately they found out that it has active atomic hydrogen, really high levels of it. And so that was really kind of where this whole thing took off. They ended up realizing that Hydrogen is the most powerful antioxidant on the planet, as far as we know to this date. And so this hydrogen water is actually a very powerful antioxidant. So these two liters of water that you see right here is the equivalent to something like over 1,200 apples, something crazy like that. Um, it has the antioxidative power of over 1,200 apples, something along those lines. Don't, don't quote me on that. Maybe it's 1,189. I don't know. But the point is, is that it's very antioxidative, which is what makes it so unique and what, which is what ultimately brings on all the things that you really want. For example, in Asia, they use this actually, they promote it as a beauty product because when you drink it, it actually begins to clear up your skin and blemishes and purifies your body. Because you hear it uprising, we believe that purity is the way. That's what we believe. Now you may say, well, the way to what? Well, what do you want? Do you want more beautiful skin? Purity is the way, you know, purify the body, get it clean. I know a lot of my acne cleared up when I did that. Um, if you want a good smelling breath, purity is the way, you know, better dental health, purity is the way. You know, you want a clearer mind or you want to feel happier because your body's in better condition, purity is the way. You want less body odor, purity is the way. You want to just feel better in general and be in better health, purity is the way. So anyway, we could play this game forever. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and stop there. But the point is that I, we believe here at Uprising that purity is the way. So it's very difficult sometimes in our everyday lives to really be pure. You know, you stop and get a McDonald's burger or you want to go out to eat or have a drink with your friends. It's very difficult to just be juicing all day long and eating only raw fruits and vegetables and not eating any meat. It's very difficult for the conventional person. So this is kind of a real simple solution to that. You drink two liters of this water, highly antioxidative, and it doesn't just have the antioxidative power of those roughly 1200 apples, it actually awakens, and this is all scientific fact, that it actually awakens enzymes within the body, specifically some, I believe, in, some in the mitochondria. And these enzymes, their job is actually to fight free radicals also. Now, for those of you who don't know, over 90% of the diseases that we have to this day are actually caused from oxidation including aging. So 
having something that is highly antioxidative, that's why they promote this as an anti-aging product in Asia. And again, can you, I mean, just try to imagine for a second. Eight million people go to Lourdes, France every year. They got to catch a flight. They got to take time off from work. I don't know how many thousands of dollars it must take them just to get there. They drink the water for one day and they're like, woohoo, and then they come back home. And, and I mean, come on. To me, I want this in my house. But how could you possibly get a Lourdes spring in your house? Well, now you can. You can actually go and get one of these machines and have your own water source here at home. And what's really neat about it is when they tested the water in Lourdes, France, it has a measurement of what's called 0.3 ppm of hydrogen in it. This machine with technology is reaching a level of 1.0 to 1.2. So this stuff is like four times more powerful than the Lourdes water in France. And all the scientific research that I've read shows that you have to be drinking this water for three to six months, depending on how long you've had your issue, to really get some results. Now, I'm not a doctor and I'm not making any types of claims or anything. I'm just telling you what I've read and the way that I have perceived this information. So let me show you one of the ways that you can actually measure the hydrogen in the water. Um, I really want to get these methylene blue drops, but at this time I don't have them. But what I did get was the next best thing. I found a video from Japan. Again, all this information is in Japan. Very widely known. People in America just don't know about it. I was actually trying to get some of these machines from Japan, and they're back order. So they're having amazing success with it. And I'm just so happy that I finally got my hands on one of these. But here's a little video about a lady who, ha who is doing a test on the machine. And ultimately what she has here is some methylene blue drops. And she's in a, each drop measures 0 0.1 ppm. So it's just going to show you how much active atomic hydrogen is in the water. This way. And so there she's putting one, two, three, four, five. She actually puts a total of 12 drops. Notice how it's disappearing constantly. If you were to put that in regular tap water, it would not be disappearing. Now the video ends up stopping, but ultimately it does end up clearing up all the blue. And if, again, if you were to put that in regular water, the water would just be completely blue. And they also have some other really neat tests where they show you how permeable hydrogen is. Because unlike conventional medicine, because they are using this for, as medicine in other countries, including Switzerland and Korea and whatnot, it's very permeable. So when you take medicine, it actually has to go through your bloodstream, right? But when you use hydrogen, active hydrogen, what it actually does is it can completely penetrate every, every part of your body without having to just go through the bloodstream. So they took a little test where they took a bowl of hydrogen water, they took like a little Ziploc bag of regular water, they put those blue drops in the regular water in this little Ziploc bag, then they put that Ziploc bag inside a container of hydrogen water, and it started clearing up the blue water through the bag. So hydrogen is a almost ghost. like, uh, you know, it can go right through things, but it's like a good ghost, like the Holy Ghost, you know, it's, it's a good one, you know. And it's, and it's helping you clear up all that oxidation. And ultimately, it's going to bring out the glow in your skin. I'm really excited to, to, you know, keep using this water. I've only been using it for about two weeks. But I'll be honest, in the first week, I started noticing uh, some things happening, kind of a detox uh, feeling. In fact, uh, one of the common side effects for people who are highly oxidative, which usually one of the signs is inflammation. That means that you have a lot of oxidation specifically to those people out there who have arthritis, this, this inflammation is caused from oxidation. So when you start drinking this water, a common side effect is actually very loose stools. Because when active hydrogen uh, connects with um, oxidation, it's, it, you know, when it's working as an antioxidant, when they get together, it turns to water. So this stuff just starts flushing out of you. So it's just beautifully simple, and it seems to really work really well. It can totally go past the blood-brain barrier. Um, it's, it's very safe. In fact, that's something I, do, I should mention. They have these like magnesium sticks um, and these other types of things to make hydrogen either in water or in your body. But the reports that I've read, now I read some stuff here in the U.S. at the University of Pittsburgh, I think from 2009 or 2011, and they were saying how there is benefit to using those type of methods to get hydrogen. But in Japan, they have much more extensive research. And over there, they say that they're not sure if it'd be really good for the long term as far as using magnesium sticks and these types of magnesium on the long term. They don't recommend it for pregnant women. They don't recommend it for children or the elderly. And if you're on certain medications, 
Others, other types of the machines, same thing. They make hydrogen so fast and their methods of doing so require not only a lot of maintenance and they're expensive, but some of them aren't safe for everybody. And that was something I really liked about this machine is that this machine is completely safe. The water is completely safe for children, completely safe for the elderly, completely safe for you know anybody who's sick, especially for people who are sick. It's just safe for pregnant women. It's safe for everybody. It's just because of the benefits. It, it, it's just so wonderful because of that. And um, I'm trying to remember one of the things. Um, oh, yeah, I guess one of the other options that this machine has, it's really neat. It's actually a self-cleaning unit. And so the maintenance is super easy. You just hold down this button and the lights go red. And it just shows you that it's not only self-cleaning, which takes 15 minutes. And you want to do that like every other day because these machines can be really high maintenance. And another reason for choosing, uh, for me deciding to choose this machine was the low maintenance. Once it cleans itself, the water in there, I call it red water because the lights go red. It's an ionized water, so it actually kills all funguses, all bacteria, all viruses. Doctors in Japan actually use it. They put their hands in it for like 5, 10 seconds and it just kills everything before dealing with their patients. Um, I use it to wash my dishes. I use it to wash my produce. I use it to clean my hands. I use it to wipe off counters, and it's totally safe. You can actually drink it, though I wouldn't recommend to drink that water because why would you want to drink that water when you got hydrogen water? You know, but you can use it to like brush your teeth. Uh, people who have acne, they uh, wash their face with that kind of water. So there's, you know, there's many benefits that um, to that water, and this machine can ultimately make both of those types of water. And I know that there's been a lot of comparisons to the Kangen machine over in Japan. Um, Kangen is basically the old technology. I mean, let's just be honest about it. I feel bad for those people who spend like seven grand on these Kangen machines, but they're, in Japan they're already saying, you know, that's old technology. Those machines waste a lot of water. They use a lot of water to do what they do. And they actually do make a type of hydrogen water, but the level is 0 0.1 ppm. That's all it makes. This thing is 1.2 ppm. I mean, we're talking what, 12 times stronger? And if it takes I don't know, people three to six months before they get the results they want in their, in, you know, as far as medical results, if it's 12 times weaker, I'm only assuming it's going to take 12 times longer. I don't know, what's that, six years? <laughs> I don't think I want to be drinking that water for six years waiting for something to happen. And God knows if it ever would happen. So I don't know. That's just my own opinion from everything that I've read. This seems to be the way to go. There are some machines that claim that they make higher levels of PPM. But from what I've read and all the scientific research, and I've been researching this for about four months now, that the highest scientific level that you can reach is 1.8 ppm. So anybody who claims anything higher, as far as science is concerned, you can't get any higher than 1.8. And a lot of these machines, the way they're measuring it, it's kind of like cars and horsepower. Are you measuring off the flywheel? Are you measuring off the ground? And for those of you who aren't car people, basically they're measuring it in kind of screwy and funny ways to make their numbers look better. And with um, the Lourdes, every single time I see independent research, it always seems to come out on top. And at the doctor's offices, they actually use these really, really expensive big machines that make instant hydrogen. And then they also have the Lourdes there. So they use them both. And um, it's just that this one can't make the water instantaneously. And so that's just probably one of the only drawbacks. But for me, I just have it on standby. No other machine has a standby option. And... It just sits on standby, and it's all ready for me to go. And then I'll even put in these pitchers because it can, it can stay good for a long time. It stays good for 12 to 24 hours. Um, at 12 hours, it still has a really high level of hydrogen. By 24 hours, it's at 0 0.3 ppm, which is actually the same as Lourdes water. And, of course, the last reason I chose the machine was it's affordable. It's affordable. You can get them here in the U.S. Uh, if you guys have questions about hydrogen, if you guys have questions about anything you'd like me to research or look up in Japan, or even if you have uh, questions about where to find one of these machines or finding the best price, you guys can always email me at uprising144k at gmail.com. That's uprising144k at gmail.com. And if many of you ask me the same question, I might post a video answering your guys' questions. That'll be kind of fun. If not, I'll just respond and send you an email back. Uh, we thank you for joining us today, and we hope to see you on our next video. Uprising of the spirits.